Hey guys, today we're excited to announce another major firmware update for the Rodecaster Pro 2 and Rodecaster Duo, which introduces a massive new feature, virtual devices. This is a game-changing addition to the Rodecaster series, making the world's most powerful all-in-one production consoles even more powerful, especially for streamers. We know this is a feature that a lot of you have been waiting for, so thank you so much for being patient. And as always, thank you for your feedback on what features you want from your Rodecaster. The update is available right now through the Rodecaster beta testing program. So if you're keen to give the new feature a try, hit the link in the description to sign up. In this video, I'll show you how to set up virtual devices on your Rodecaster. But first, what are virtual devices? When you're listening to your computer's audio, you'll be hearing a stereo mix that contains sound from all your software at once. As an example, let's look at a mix that includes Spotify, Google Chrome, Discord, and a game. Most of this software will either have its own volume control, or in the case of a web browser, rely on volume controls on the pages you have open, such as YouTube. If you're streaming, adjusting levels for each piece of software to get the perfect mix for you and your audience can be a real hassle, or even sometimes impossible. However, with virtual devices, you can treat each piece of software as if it were a microphone connected to your Rodecaster and assign it its own fader. This gives you hands-on volume control over individual pieces of software in a single centralized location. The Roadcaster. Not only that, but it also gives you the ability to apply processing, create custom routing, and record each software's audio separately. Virtual devices are super helpful for when you're streaming or gaming. For streamers, having all of your volume control in one place makes it super simple to balance and readjust your mix on the fly. You can also combine the Rodecaster's virtual devices and custom routing abilities to send entirely different mixes to your stream and to your headphones. For instance, you may want the game audio to be louder in your headphones compared to what the audience hears, or you may want the music to be quieter. You can also use virtual devices alongside Rodecaster's multi-track recording to mix and process your audio differently to how it sounded on stream. If you listen to copyrighted music on your stream, but still want to edit and upload a video of your stream later, this feature is crucial for avoiding DMCA notices. Now we've taken a look at what virtual devices are and what they can be used for, let's walk you through how to set them up with your Rodecaster. First, connect your Rodecaster to your computer via USB 1. Now make sure you're running the latest Rodecaster firmware. This can be downloaded directly via Ethernet or Wi-Fi or with the latest version of Rode Central. Then you'll need to install the virtual device driver via the links in the description. This tool is required for your computer to separate the audio outputs and communicate them to your Rodecaster. Finally, in order to activate these additional virtual devices on your Rodecaster, navigate to Settings, Outputs, Multitrack, and USB 1 input and tap Expanded and then hit apply. You can exit this expanded mode at any time from the same menu. And that's it. You're ready to use virtual devices with your Rodecaster. Now let's take a look at how to assign a virtual device to one of your Rodecaster's faders. On this Rodecaster, I have my microphone assigned to our first channel, but I want to get a few different programs onto other channels here. First, press the button above an empty fader or tap on the plus sign here to bring up the channel input selection screen. You can now see the four new virtual devices, game, music, A or B. All four of these virtual devices behave exactly the same, but we've named them that way to help you organize your setup. Alongside the new virtual devices, you'll notice we still have USB 1 main and USB 1 chat. We'd recommend using main for system sounds like alerts and notifications, and using chat for software like Discord, TeamSpeak and so on. Now for our example, let's get our game audio onto this fader. Simply select game and press the green tick. Now that's done, we just need to assign our software. In this case, the audio from our game to this virtual device on our computer. You might notice that since assigning the game virtual device to a fader, it's showing up in your sound outputs menu as game roadcaster. This is because the virtual device driver has been designed to present only the virtual devices that are actually active on your Rodecaster. Now we just need to make sure our game is open and running, and then find the volume mixer menu under the advanced section of our system sound settings. 
The screen will show all your open software, each with its own volume fader, input and output. Now we find our game amongst the apps on this list. Click the Output Device drop-down, and then select Game Roadcaster. Just remember that this menu only displays apps that are open and running. With this done, the audio from our game is now being individually routed to our game fader. You can now use this same process for routing Discord onto the USB 1 chat, Spotify audio onto its own music fader, and whatever we want onto Virtual A or Virtual B faders. Lastly, let's take a look at how to assign a program or app to a virtual device on Mac. First of all, Mac OS doesn't behave quite the same as Windows. And there are some limitations we need to mention. There isn't currently a native method on Mac OS to assign each of your programs to their own audio output device. The only way to do this is via the program's own audio settings, which means that the process varies and some programs don't support it at all. If your program does support audio output routing, you will be able to adjust this in the software's audio settings by selecting an output device. And that's the latest update for the Rodecaster Pro 2 and the Rodecaster Duo. We hope you enjoy the new virtual devices and we're excited to see how you use them. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.